Welcome back to Only Talk Sports. So we talk sports every single day, or at least we try to. I'm your host, Jeffrey. Subscribe to the channel if you like sports content. Hit that notification bell so you never miss another video. Now, the final game of the college football season is finally here. The national championship game between the Georgia Bulldogs and the TCU Horned Frogs. Who do I think is going to win the national championship game? Let's break it down. Now, Georgia is undefeated this season. They are 14-0, and they were 8-0 in the SEC. And Kirby Smart, he's done a fantastic job building up Georgia to be one of the best, if not the best team in college football at this time. He's done a fantastic job, and Georgia had a great season winning every single game. And they started out their season with a 49-3 win over Oregon on a neutral field in Atlanta. And when they beat Oregon by that much, a lot of people thought Georgia would just roll over the rest of their schedule. And for some of the season, they did. But Georgia did have a couple of close calls. But that was a dominant performance against the Ducks. Then they beat Samford 33-0. That was a good win. Then they won at South Carolina 48-7. That was a really good win on the road, especially because South Carolina ended up having a pretty good season. Then they beat Kent State 39-22. That was a performance that Georgia did not play too well in. Then they won at Missouri 26 to 22 and that was their closest scare of the season. Georgia did not play well in this game against Missouri, but they were able to pull out a win. Then they beat Auburn 42 to 10. That was a good win. Then they beat Vanderbilt 55 to nothing. Then they won over the rivals the Florida Gators 42 to 20. And that was a good win. Then they beat Tennessee 27 to 13 at home and that was a really good win, especially the way Tennessee was playing and Tennessee was ranked number 1 in that game and Georgia was able to stop Hendon Hooker. Then they won at Mississippi State 45-19. That was a really solid win. Then they won at Kentucky 16-6. Their offense didn't really show up in this game, but they were able to win with their defense. And then they beat Georgia Tech 37-14 at home in the final game of the regular season against the rivals. Then they beat LSU in the SEC Championship game 50-30. That was a fantastic performance from their offense. And then they beat Ohio State in the college football playoff semifinal game 42-41 in a nail-biter and one of the best games of the college football season. And Georgia has gotten all the way to the national championship game unscathed. And Georgia's had a fantastic season overall, and they only need one more to make it 15-0. And, and quarterback Stetson Bennett, he's 292 of 429 for 3,823 yards, 23 touchdowns, 7 interceptions, and 166 rushing yards and 8 touchdowns. He's been fantastic for Georgia this season. He's done everything Kirby Smart's asked him to do. He hasn't turned the ball over too much. He's used his sneaky athleticism to run at opportune times for Georgia. And he's been a really solid passer this season. He's had a lot of throws and tight windows. And Stetson Bennett... Being a former walk-on quarterback has really exceeded any expectations that anybody's ever had for him. And George has been a much better team through his leadership. And running back Kenny McIntosh is 142 attempts for 779 yards, 10 touchdowns, 505 receiving yards and two touchdowns. He's a really solid running back for Georgia. He's good in the passing game. He's good in the run game. A really solid dual threat running back. And Georgia's other running backs that they use as well. And tight end Brock Bowers is 56 receptions for 790 yards and six touchdowns. He's a fantastic tight end. So athletic for his position. And he will definitely be in the NFL. And wide receiver Lab McConkey is 53 receptions for 674 yards and five touchdowns. He's had a really good season for Georgia. And on the defense side of the ball, linebacker Smell Munden Jr. 71 total tackles, 45 sold tackles, a sack and an interception, and defensive back Malachi Starks is 68 total tackles, 44 solo tackles, and two interceptions. And Georgia's defense, they have been really solid all year. The only weakness is potentially their secondary. They have struggled at times in the secondary, but the rest of their defense has been really solid, especially the defensive line. But Georgia's had a really good season on both offense and defense, and that is why they are currently undefeated. Now on the TCU side, they are 13-1, and and they are 9-0 in the Big 12 this season. And Sonny Dykes, in his first season as the TCU head coach, has really turned them around from the end of the Gary Patterson era, where TCU was really starting to struggle, and they were not able to win as many games as they would have liked, especially with the talent that they did have. But TCU has bounced back in Sonny Dykes' first season and has had a fantastic season losing only one game this year. They've been the ultimate underdog story, and they have definitely fought through that, and they've had a fantastic season finding ways to win many games this year. They won at Colorado 38-13 in Week 1, and that was a good win, even though Colorado really struggled this season. Then they beat Tarleton State 59-17, to that was a good win. Then they won at SMU 42-34 to in the Iron Skillet game, and that was a good win. Then they beat Oklahoma 55-24, to and this was the first game that kind of showed that TCU TCU had arrived and that they were actually a really solid team because even though Oklahoma did not end up having the season 
a lot of people were expecting from Oklahoma. That was still a really good win for TCU anyway. Then they won at Kansas 38-31, to and Kansas was a much improved team. That was a good win. Then they beat Oklahoma State at home 43-40 to in double overtime, and that was a really good win. Then they won over Kansas State 38-28 to at home. That was a good win. Then they won at West Virginia 41-31. to So TCU was, again, finding ways to win a lot of these close games. Then they beat Texas Tech 34-24 to at home. Then they won at Texas 17-10. to Then they won at Baylor 29-28. to Again, more close wins but TC found ways to win and that's all that matters. Then they beat Iowa State 62-14 to in the final game of the regular season. That was really their biggest blowout of the season. Then they lost to Kansas State in overtime in the Big 12 Championship game, 31-28 to and that was a tough loss. TCU had a really solid game, but they just could not get the ball in the end zone at the end of the game in overtime. Maybe if they had a sneak that they would have won. But TCU, it was a close loss and the playoff committee ended up putting TCU in the playoff for their close loss and having a great season being undefeated the rest of the way. And then in the college football playoff semifinal finals TCU beat Michigan 51 to 45 a lot of people didn't think TCU could get it done and TCU showed up and they played fantastic against Michigan and now they're in the national championship game with a chance to beat the Georgia Bulldogs and no one was expecting TCU to have this great of a season and TCU had a fantastic season overall quarterback Max Duggan was 253 of 397 for 3546 yards 32 touchdowns six interceptions and 461 rushing yards and eight touchdowns he's been fantastic for TCU all season a guy coming off of heart surgery two years ago. He has overseen any expectations anybody had for him. He's done everything Sonny Dykes has wanted to do and more. He's been great through the air. He can run the ball on the ground. He's a really solid dual threat quarterback and he finished second place in the Heisman voting and he's been fantastic for TCU all season. He's definitely elevated their level of play from last year. And running back Condre Miller is 224 attempts for 1,399 yards, 17 touchdowns and 116 receiving yards. He's been great for TCU this year. A very talented running back and he's definitely elevated TCU's offense and he's definitely going to be an NFL running back. And wide receiver Quentin Johnson is 59 receptions for 1,066 yards and 6 touchdowns. He's going to be in the NFL as well. He's definitely the top wideout for TCU and somebody that Georgia's secondary is going to have to keep an eye on. And wide receiver Ty Barber's 36 receptions for 605 yards and 5 touchdowns. He's a really good wide receiver as well. And on the defense side of the ball, linebacker Johnny Hodges is 81 total tackles, 40 solo tackles, and 2 sacks. And safety Mark Perry is 78 total tackles and 56 solo tackles. And TCU's defense at times has struggled to stop teams and give up too many points. But for the most part, they have had the bend and not break defense. They have found ways to get enough stops at the end of games to win. And TCU's offense has been fantastic all season. So who do I think is going to win? Win the national championship. Georgia's the more talented team than TCU, and if you look at the recruiting rankings, it's obvious Georgia has way more talent. And on paper, Georgia should win this game fairly easily. The odds say it as well. Georgia's favored by almost two touchdowns, and Georgia has the more talented team. And Kirby Smart's done a fantastic job of assembling talent at Georgia. They have a really talented defense, and Georgia has a really talented offense, and they have great players on both sides of the ball. But TCU is the ultimate underdog story here. They have shown that they belong. Sonny Dykes has gotten a team that people were probably expecting six and seven wins to the national championship game. That is so commendable, and he deserves all the credit in the world for what he's done. And TCU has the fight and the belief. Their defense has been questioned all year, and they got two pick sixes on J.J. McCarthy. And TCU's offense, they showed up to play and put up 51 points against a really talented Michigan defense. And TCU has shown that they can play with the big boys. And I think that TCU has enough fight and belief to beat Georgia. But the talent from Georgia is going to be tough. I do think that Georgia's secondary is a weakness, which will definitely help out TCU. I think that TCU's offense will be able to exploit a Georgia secondary that has given up a lot of points this year. You saw what Ohio State CJ Stroud Stroud did to Georgia. If a quarterback has enough time against Georgia's defensive line and get the ball over the top, then Georgia's defense really does struggle, something that C.J. Stroud was able to do against Georgia. And if Max Duggan's able to do the same, then TCU will have a shot to win this game. And I think that TCU's defense, again, they're not as talented as Georgia's defense, and they have given up a lot more yards and points this year than Georgia. But if TCU's defense can just slow down Georgia's offense just enough, I think it will definitely keep TCU in the game. But I think overall, Kirby Smart, he has a super talented team. They're more talented than Michigan. And and I think that talent at the end of the day is going to be so tough for TCU to win. I think TCU can win this game, but I do think that Georgia will beat TCU 35-31 to in the national championship. This game could go either way. I think that TCU's fight and heart and belief is going to keep him in this game. I think Max Duggan's going to play fantastic and pretty much mistake-free. I think he's going to have a great game. I think Sonny Dykes is going to have a great game plan on both sides of the ball. I think TCU's defense will be able to slow down Georgia's offense for maybe putting up as many points as they usually do. But I think Kirby Smart's team, I think Georgia, they won another championship. I think they're going to want an undefeated season. I think Stetson Bennett, he's played fantastic all year. He hasn't made a lot of mistakes, and he's got a lot of talented players on offense. And I think that Georgia's defense, even 
even though the secondary has really struggled. I think the defensive line is going to be able to get enough stops in this game. And I think the TCU will be able to put up points because that secondary is weak. But I think at the end of the day, the talent is going to be a little bit too much. I think TCU's heart fight is going to make up a lot of the difference. But I think that Georgia is going to beat TCU 35-31 to in the national championship game. Subscribe to the channel if you like sports content. Like this video down below. Comment down below whether you think Georgia or TCU is going to win the national championship game and why. And I'll see you next time.